long end of the blade and a short end of the blade, or a short side. Long side and a short side. If the concave face of the blade, so if this was a big spoon, picture yourself eating ice cream. Where the ice cream is, that's the concave part, face of the blade. That's the power face. That's what's doing the work. That's gonna face behind you, or face you, face back. Um, and so I don't want you to think about scooping water today. What I want you to think about is planting your blade as far forward as you can, and then pulling yourself to that blade in the water, okay? Um, so with the concave face of the blade facing back, the long end is on top. Uh, someone who understands physics a little better could probably tell you why that is. I cannot. <laughs> um, so, so actually, Melissa, what I'm gonna have you do is actually flip your paddle. Yep, exactly. Um, you too, Alyssa. Yep, so, um, so if you, so you've got it like this, yep, so I want you to flip yours around like this too. Yes, now everyone looks right. So, um, what I see beginners do a lot is hold their paddle really close together. If you widen your grip so that it's about, sometimes I'll put it on my head and look at my elbows and make sure they're at about 90 degrees. What that does for me is it creates what's called the paddler's box. So the shaft of the paddle, my forearms, and then my chest with my PFD creates a rectangle. And I don't want to make triangles. You see I've got triangles here because this is using all my arms. My arms are not the strongest muscles in my body. So if instead I rotate my body a little bit, keeping that box, plant my paddle blade, and then I'm still pushing and pulling with my hands. But if I turn my body a little bit, my rectangle stays, and then I engage my core muscles, which have a lot more endurance than my arms. This helps you not get tired so quickly, so you can be out longer and have more fun. Plus you get a good core workout. Talk about functional strength, nothing more important than having a strong core. So, a little bonus I get excited about uh, health and fitness stuff. So, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay kind of close together. This water is still, it feels really nice today, but I'm wearing neoprene and I spend a lot of time in this lake all year long. So for me to say it feels nice, I'm pretty acclimated to this lake. Um, we're gonna stay really close because this water is still cold even though we're protected and in the harbor. And I've got a tow rope, I've got some other safety gear. If something happens to you, I can get your boat drained and get you out of the water in less than 60 seconds. But my timer starts when I get to you. So I'm gonna make sure I don't leave you in my desk. This is my friendly reminder to make sure you do the same. So, um, yeah, we'll just kind of explore the harbor. We're gonna keep a little wide of the Yordas. Technically, we've got right away, but we're the smallest and slowest things out here. So um, we'll just be careful of other boats, but. I'm glad the wind died off for us. Uh, trickiest part about kayaking is getting in and out. If you want to, by yourself, by all means, feel free. However, one of the reasons I'm here. It seems silly to get wet right at the beginning and not really doing anything, <laughs> doing the real paddling. So, um, so let me help you get in. That being said, who is ready? I'm ready. Yeah? <laughs> when do we have the question there? 